he's ever so. been right now. I think that Phil is is as hungry as he's ever been, and he's very sharp. He Get works out crack. every day. He does yoga every single day. He meditates every day. He eats a very strict diet. Um, you can see, you know, he's he's very lean right now. He's lost a lot of fat, and he just is. It's amazing to see. He's he's the healthiest I've ever seen him. I've known him for a long time, and and he's. He is just so, so damn good. I mean, I think short deck also in terms of uh, just from brief conversations with him, I think it's the game he likes playing at yep. this point. Like yep. it's, it's the game he's feeling. And you can almost, you can see that, I think, a little bit in his play in this game, even just since you've been in the booth. Um, a lot of finesse. super creative. And, you know, in a certain sense, he's kind of been right both times, even though he mm -hmm. actually lost those pots. It's, his feel was right. It's just yep. the run out didn't really work out exactly. for him. But yeah. Yeah, he's getting a good price, and if the run out presents the right card, he's probably going to do the thing. And if you watch, he's going to avoid, he's going to try his best to dance around and avoid being all in. He wants to play pots against everyone. He wants to see flops, turns, and rivers. And I do think that um, he will shine on the later streets over, you know, the new age guys who may know how to play ICM well or pre-flop well. I think if he gets you to the turn of the river... Um, those guys are going to be scratching their head kind of a lot. And I think today's tournament, the 150K, where we start off 400 antis deep, um, he's going to be a nightmare. Sure, at 100%. And this is something I've noticed and pointed out is the difference in the play styles. Uh, there's a number of the players that uh, have a pre-flop, very like shove or fold, fit or fold type style, mm -hmm. um, or, or limp kind of fold or, or jam. Mm -hmm. And a lot of players that definitely like going post, uh, in a various number of ways, including instead of jamming, just open raising size sometimes, sure. as, as well as just the preference. And, you know, one of the things I feel like I've noticed is it seems like the guys who um, like, who, who are good playing post-flop tend to be some of the best short deck players. Like, mm -hmm. it's like you're taking a big part out of the game sure. if you just go, and even if you have a good fit or fold pre-flop strategy, I mean, you're missing a big part of the game and a big opportunity to kind of like steal pots and and whatever. Great pull by Seth here. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I I completely agree. But uh, what I think you're you're seeing is is um, people in a vacuum see if Seth peeled the king jack of diamonds here would be in a lot of trouble. Now Tony just called the C bet. So and this is a very safe card for Ivy's range. So he's going to keep barreling away for sure. Um, and I'd say Tony will just call actually. He's just uh, when they're this deep, I, I think that he's just going to be afraid of being oversetted. Really? Yeah, I think so. Um, and you just give, but three white, like so many draws. Yeah, it's but like you're in position on the other guy. Like, like the jack is never going to improve Chidwick. Basically, sure yeah. you can let Chidwick like float again with nine eight, but I just think that, um, well, that's actually a very big bet from Ivy. So um, there is a chance Tony puts him in here. Yeah, versus that size. Yeah, because Chidwick's only got eight thirty five back. Uh, my intuition is. Tony's going to raise just the way I've seen him play. Yeah. I just feel, yeah, that it makes, makes a all good the play. sense. It's a, it's a good play. I think Ivy might fold here. I mean, you got to put the guy exactly on. Uh, this is a really tough spot because there's just a chance that um, Tony G called the flop with King X of spades and it's just kind of like, whatever, man, I'm all in. Hopefully you fold. If you don't, I've got the best hand. But. I can see I Ivy know. making a fold here. Maybe he, maybe it's reasonable to think Tony calls that hand quite a bit, though. Yeah, yeah, it, like but I mean, you're just chopping with it. value a ton, right? Like, I mean, obviously, if Ivy, you know, ends up folding King Jack, then that would be a great way to play King X of Spades. But I don't know. I just having watched Tony play. I mean, you Ace Nine of Spades, Nine Eight of Spades, Yeah, Ten, ten Nine no. of Spades. Yeah, certainly. All of those ace eight of spades, all those call the flop for one. You know, gut shots, you hit a gut shot 25% of the time by the river. You got a backdoor flush draw. Um, and Tony shoves those versus the large size. Well, what I'm saying is, is Ivy's got top two. If he calls here, you can't fault him for it. That's all I'm no. saying. If yeah, he yeah, makes yeah. a fold, I think it's incredible. It would be a great fold. I think yeah. it'd be, it's a very, very, very hard fold to make. And unfortunately for him, we know, I believe Seth folded the king jack of diamonds, yeah. right? So, I mean, he is pretty toasty if he calls here it's half as much equity as you see 
I mean, this guy, this is exactly what we're talking about. This isn't the situation we wanted to see him in because he's in the blender, but I think he's going to fold, which is outrageous. Um, it's absolutely outrageous to fold here. Yeah, I mean, I made the observation before. I mean, when Ivy's on, it, it is amazing how far he can go and turn. He goes and turns consistently. He's unbelievable. So, and uh, I mean, if he folds here, it'll be precisely because of folds like this. Yep. Right. Whenever he was on his big heater in um, Cyprus, winning everything, yeah, I, I, I came up and I talked to him about it, yeah. and and. We were just talking about life in general, and he said something that really stuck with me where mm. he said, Tony, 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 Tony. <laughs> There's good table talk, I'll wait. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. But yeah, he said to me, You got to get Tony to react a little here, right? I mean, Tony will give a little smile this, and now, okay, anyway, what do you say? Yeah, he was talking about winning and losing with grace and talking about how much luck they're just as involved in life and in poker. And I just thought it was a really cool thing to hear him say. You know, he was winning his second tournament of the week, and it was just him and I. There was no one around. He didn't have to be politically correct. And and he just said, yeah, I mean, I'm running hot, and, you know, you got to take it with grace. Sometimes you're the big loser, and some weeks you get you get a great week like this. And he's, like I said, he's just in a fantastic headspace. Scary guy to play against right now. Yeah, I have I played with him some in the in the the big mix at game at the Aria. Um, he didn't play the last time, but it's it's I gone three times so far this year, and he played the first two in January and March. But yeah, he's he's back to feeling it with poker, right? I mean, he's he's playing a lot of poker now. Man, he is really. Does feel like he's feels like he's feels like he's gonna fold. Yeah, he's got one thing going for him. Um, Tony doesn't play the most likely doesn't play the suited kings like king seven, king six, jack yeah. seven. So he never has to really worry about him shoving a worse two pair. I do think it, a great concern is the same hand. I mean, I why wouldn't Tony just shove king jack here sometimes like? Chidwick only had 800k back. It was a. Uh, you got to think top. You know, maybe Ivy's betting aces. Maybe he's betting ace king. And yeah, you're starting to make what a fold. Yeah, you're starting to make some. I think beyond whatever physical There's stuff, I think you do start to make some exploits where it's okay. To a pot size here, he's gonna he's gonna have the sets. Maybe the same hand. And maybe he actually still calls some of the yeah, combo draws. But, uh, but I think, like, exploit. rather than just, like, breaking down the analysis of the hand, yeah. I think you got to give credit Short to hand. how sick of a fold that is. I mean, that's a ridiculous fold to make in this game. Well, I mean, it's kind of a it's kind of a ridiculous exploit to make. I mean, we're in the booth. We're seeing Tony's Yeah, hands. for sure. It's like, real easy. Not.